Hey everyone, this is Paolo from the MB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Bust the Red by Whiny. Make sure you pay attention to what the sub bass is doing on this track. So here's the original. And this is my recreation. So get ready because we're going to be making four different sounds. Even though they're all subs, it's amazing how expressive Whiny is able to be with these types of sounds in our arrangement. But before we get started, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so soloing the drums, we get this sub bass, then this one, then this one, and so on, right? So we're actually gonna be doing each of them in order. So let's start by this first one. So the notes that we're gonna be playing are these, D sharp, F and A sharp. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. Make sure that they overlap like this. Otherwise you're not gonna get the same. There you go. So now let's jump into zero. Okay, so by default, this is gonna be the sound that you're gonna be getting. Not amazing. Now, in order for the first two notes that are overlapping, that that we hear, <laughs> we need to turn the mono, then legato, and then bring the portamento up to 90, something like that. That gives you that kind of slowly starting feel like make it even slower if you want. It's up to taste at this point. Now let's just design this up. So it's actually gonna be very, very simple. We're just gonna design uh, the what I call the perfect sub which is just a sub that has three and five. Oops, three and five, there you go. And if you just do it correctly, you will end up with a square wave like this. So it's kind of like a super perfectly clipped sub. And it's awesome that uh, Whiny did this, possibly without this method. <laughs> so he probably did it with a really nice clipper because it sounds exactly like this. That's awesome. Now so let's actually boost this. Let's push it to the limit here. And this is our first bass. Very simple. Um, but yeah, you can see how the mono legato, the really nice time in the portamento gives you that drunk feel. Because it, it just takes a while to get you there. Cool. So this is it for the initial patch. Now let's jump into the next one, which sounds like this. So let's get into that. So for this one, we're only playing G sharp. And now let's jump into zero. And so what this one is going to be, is actually just the same patch, no effects, no nothing, but we don't have a fold that is eight notes tripleted and it goes into the sub and into the uh, oscillator A, but we're just pitching down. Like this. So in the doll, it ends up looking like this. And so right after the other bass. And now let's go for the last one. So for the third patch, it's actually the same one, but the LFO is now not eight notes like that. It's set on envelope, it's set on a fourth notes, and it has this type of 808 shape where it kind of side chains itself, which is really, really, really cool. Now you can also add some noise into this one. It, it sounds really, really, really cool. So if we put this in the context of the tune, that's what it sounds like without the side chain. 
it's just a very very basic um, 808 and then we just have a little distortion here at the end going down in terms of drive so yeah that's it for that patch now let's take a look at the last one okay so for this last bass we're holding e and we have the same patch no distortion no nothing but we don't have a perfect sub this time we just have an automated uh lfo here going up and then sustaining itself down but the difference is that we now have a basic shapes weight table this one right here and what we do is we just changing these harmonics and that's what gives us that really cool texture at the end and then we just add some unison so it moves a lot and that's it that's the whole riff So cool honestly i'm amazed at how groovy this riff is in the original track keeping in mind it's only sub it's it's one of my favorite apps executions of uh sub frequencies so big up to whiny amazing tune so yeah that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video if you liked it make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos and if you want to support the channel consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com we have crazy preset packs we have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.